For an entire year, the ship had been stuck, squeezed by ice, its wooden frame groaning in protest. Then, on October 27, 1915, a powerful surge of pressure swept through the ice, lifting the ship's back end and ripping off its rudder and keel. Cold water started pouring in. It's happening, everyone, came the call. Time to abandon ship. Ernest Shackleton and his crew had been bracing for this moment ever since their British expedition ship HMS Endurance got trapped in Antarctic ice ten months earlier. Now, they gathered their last belongings from the ship and set up camp on the ice. Twenty-five days later, another violent shift and the Endurance vanished beneath the frozen surface. Remarkably, all 27 men under Shackleton's leadership survived the harsh Antarctic ordeal, but their ship remained lost until 106 years later. On March 9, 2022, a team of scientists and adventurers revealed they had located the remains of the Endurance at the bottom of Antarctica's Weddell Sea. Using submersibles and undersea drones, they captured breathtaking images of the sunken wooden vessel resting nearly 10,000 feet below in the crystal clear icy waters. The Endurance had set sail from South Georgia to Antarctica on December 5, 1914, carrying 27 men, 69 dogs, and a tomcat mistakenly named Mrs. Chippy. Shackleton's goal was to establish a base on Antarctica's Weddell Sea coast and then embark on the first crossing of the continent. Just two days after leaving South Georgia, the Endurance encountered the pack ice, a thick barrier of sea ice surrounding Antarctica. Despite several weeks of navigating through openings in the ice, a fierce storm on January 18 trapped the ship. Stranded and unable to move, the Endurance was at the mercy of the ice's drift, slowly being pushed away from its intended landing spot. With no escape in sight, the crew settled into a routine to wait out the winter. Despite outward calmness, Shackleton privately expressed his concerns to the ship's captain, Frank Worsley, foreseeing the ship's demise in the relentless grip of the ice. In the time between abandoning the Endurance and witnessing it being engulfed by the ice, the crew salvaged whatever provisions they could, while shedding anything that added weight or consumed valuable resources. This included Bibles, books, clothing, tools, and personal items. Sadly, some of the younger dogs and the unfortunate Mrs. Chippy were also sacrificed. Initially, the plan was to trek across the ice towards land, but after managing just seven and a half miles in seven days, they realized it was futile. They returned to camping on the flow, hoping for better conditions. As the ice drifted northward, they spotted the snow-capped peaks of Clarence and Elephant Islands on April 7, 1916, sparking a glimmer of hope. However, on April 9th, the flow broke apart beneath them with a deafening crack. Shackleton ordered them to break camp and launch the boats, finally freeing themselves from the ice. But now, they faced a new challenge. The open sea, waves crashed over them, dousing them with freezing spray, and the boats were tossed about as they battled the elements in sickness. Captain Worsley steered through the storms for six grueling days until, just 30 miles ahead, Clarence and Elephant Islands emerged. Despite exhaustion, sleep deprivation, and illness, they rode on. Finally, on April 15th, they reached Elephant Island, a welcome respite after their harrowing journey. Elephant Island. <coughs> this marked their first time setting foot on solid ground since leaving South Georgia 497 days earlier. But their struggle was far from over. With slim chances of being found, Shackleton, Worsley, and four others embarked on an 800-mile journey in one of the lifeboats, the James Caird, aiming to reach a whaling station on South Georgia. For 16 grueling days, they battled monstrous waves and fierce winds, constantly bailing water and chipping ice off the sails. Shackleton described the boat being tossed relentlessly by the waves, with every swell posing a new threat. Even as they neared their destination, the elements continued their assault, with winds shrieking and waves battering the boat. Finally, they reached shore, but their ordeal wasn't over. Storms had pushed them off course, landing them on the opposite side of the island from the whaling station. Undeterred, Shackleton, Worsley, and Tom Crean 
embarked on a treacherous journey on foot, scaling mountains and descending glaciers in a path never before traveled by humans. After 36 exhausting hours, they arrived at the station at Stromness, their resilience and determination carrying them through to safety. The name is Shackleton. It seemed impossible for three strangers to suddenly appear at the whaling station, especially from the direction of the mountains. Yet, there they stood, their hair and beards unkempt, their faces marked by soot and the strain of nearly two years of hardship. An old Norwegian whaler witnessed the moment when the three men faced the station manager, Thoralf Sorel. The manager asked, Who are you? And the rugged man in the middle, with a quiet voice, replied, I am Shackleton. I turned away and wept. The rescue mission to Elephant Island. After retrieving the other three members of the James Caird, the focus shifted to rescuing the 22 men still stranded on Elephant Island. Despite their previous trials, this proved to be the most challenging and time-consuming task yet. The first ship Shackleton set out on nearly ran out of fuel navigating the pack ice and had to turn back to the Falkland Islands. A vessel from Uruguay got within 100 miles of Elephant Island before being thwarted by the ice. Every day on Elephant Island, Frank Wilde, left in charge by Shackleton, urged everyone to prepare for the possibility of rescue. But as days passed with no sign of help, morale dwindled. Some gave up hope entirely, while others anxiously scanned the horizon for any sign of a relief ship. Fortunately, Shackleton secured a third ship, the Yelcho, from Chile. On August 30, 1916, after enduring 128 days of waiting, the crew spotted the Yelcho. Within an hour, they had packed up and left Elephant Island behind. Twenty months after their Antarctic journey began, every member of the Endurance crew was alive and safe. Although the crew miraculously made it back to England, their ship did not. For over a century, the Endurance remained one of history's most elusive shipwrecks. However, in 2022, an international team finally located the Endurance at the bottom of the Weddell Sea, about four miles south of its original recorded position. Led by John Shears, the Endurance expedition used submersibles and drones to find the wooden ship. Photos from the expedition revealed the sunken Endurance in stunning detail, including its stern bearing the name Endurance above a five-pointed star. The death of Shackleton, Ernest Shackleton never achieved his goal of reaching the South Pole or crossing Antarctica. Despite launching another expedition to the Antarctic, those who had served with him on the Endurance noticed a change in him. He seemed weaker, less confident, and lacking the spirit that had sustained them during their previous ordeal. On January 5, 1922, while the ship was at South Georgia, Shackleton suffered a heart attack in his bunk and passed away at the age of 47. Following Shackleton's death, Frank Wilde took command of the ship and attempted to return to Antarctica. However, the ship proved inadequate for the task, and after a month of futile attempts to navigate through the pack ice, they redirected their course towards Elephant Island. From the safety of the deck, Wilde and his companions looked through binoculars at the beach where they had experienced so much fear and hope. I see the familiar faces and hear the voices of old friends scattered everywhere," wrote Macklin. But to express all I feel is impossible. With heavy hearts, they turned north for the final time and headed home, leaving behind the memories of their incredible journey in the vastness of Antarctica.